Hey guys, so we're saying goodbye to Singapore. We're at Changi Airport right now. We're gonna go and check into our business lounge. Today on Logan Lee Adventures. Why we're here is because we're jetting off to the Maldives. The best thing about business class check-in, no lineups and fast track through customs. Can't wait to add new stamps to our collection. Team Holland versus Team Canada Ultimate Showdown! Wow, this airport has a free movie lounge and butterfly garden and we're only in one terminal. Singapore is known as the city in a garden and this airport is also evident of that with these green spaces. We can literally spend all day in this airport as an attraction in itself. Checking into the Dinata Lounge which is a comfortable, tranquil, oasis in the midst of this hustle and bustle of one of the world's busiest airports. The Donata Lounge is designed in a pan-Asian, Singapore-influenced space that is inspired from Singapore's history and culture. You can see the modern Peranakan style wall tiles around. You know me, the first thing I always hit up is the dining section. It's always ridiculous to me that they sell food in the airport for twice as much when in lounges you can eat anything and everything you want, all included. And we're off to our first international flight together. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. The Maldives, a tropical nation known for its turquoise waters stretch into the Indian Ocean. We found these last minute flights and said, hey, why not? There he is. We are now finally flying to the Maldives. I still love him. And he Watch out for the Mali. It's really good to be gay where we're going to go. If you don't hear anything, almost first up. This is, at least this will be our last tape. Yeah. Maybe you find this. Yeah, or 13 other tapes somewhere. <laughs> Many hours later. Maldives, we're here. Maldives? Maldives? Uh, if you know how to actually pronounce the country, let me know. I've never taken a ferry straight from the airport before, but when your country consists of about 1,200 islands and the airport is on one single island itself, I guess it's quite cool. So we just got out of the airport and then our Airbnb host picked us up from the airport so then we took a pretty cool rocky ferry from the airport island to the mainland which is called Mali and now our Airbnb host is driving me and Yurun on scooters to the place to our accommodation it's pretty sweet look at my backpack on the back of me and the sweet and hectic with all these scooters but this is a pretty fun ride So we just spent a night in our Airbnb accommodation, which is this rooftop place in Mali. So we're not spending much time in Mali, which is the capital. It's very businessy, and we're just gonna head straight to the jetties dock, the pier, and we're catching a boat, our own little private boat, that will take us straight to the island that we'll be spending the week in the Maldives in. About being travelers who are gay. I think we're more aware of our space and surroundings than, say, most of my straight friends. I know that I don't have the privilege of just kissing my boyfriend wherever I want or even holding hands out of our safety. Now think, Maldives, a romantic honeymoony destination. It doesn't hinder our travels, but definitely is a part of how we move in the world and our adventures in itself. This goes for anywhere, not exclusive to places that are conservative. But we want to see it all and do it all, and our spirit of travel is all about learning the unknown, breaking down barriers, and connecting wherever we go. Speaking of wherever we go, here we are, the local island of Ugalas. Give me this. Here's my bag. That's all, right? Yeah, yeah that's all. There's your bag being taken away. And we're off from the pier. <laughs> so we just landed in our island in the Maldives. And we're heading 
Tigaya Sunrise, which is our accommodation. We're just getting a little scooter transport. As you can see, for a luxury travel destination, it actually takes a lot to just get to the place. We just arrived to our little inn and we got greeted with coconuts. Mm. Yelena is just looking at the excursion booklet to see what adventures we can get up to in the next week. Snorkeling, fishing, barbecuing. Oh, I'd be so down for barbecue. <gasps> I'd be so down for that. No spoilers here. Yeah. Alright guys, let's check out our room at Gaia Sunrise. Whoa. Look how huge this bed is! Look at you! It's so big! I know! Where's your bed? Shut up. <laughs> My bed is right here! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Needless to say, we didn't wait too long until we changed into our swim shorts. We have to walk through the shade of these palm trees and garden that opens up into a whole private beach and the Indian Ocean ahead of us. Look at that color of blue! When Yurun and I were in a long distance relationship, on one of our many phone dates, I said to him, our parallel universe self would be side by side together right now. He replied back in a joking manner and they would be on top of each other and all over. We had this thing that in another universe, parallel to ours, that there is also another Yurun and Logan. Later on in our phone call, he brings up the topic again. He said, our parallel universe selves would be together right now. I said, I think so. He then told me, our parallel universe selves could even be one. Now being here together in real time and real space with him, I know so. If you guys enjoyed this episode, hit subscribe for more, check out our other travel videos, give this one a like, and we'll show you more of this Maldivian paradise in the next video.